Hello everyone, Kevin Hand. Welcome back to Let's Play Detroit Zero Mission. Uh, today, hey, look what I did. I put these on the shoulder buttons. So, actually, let me get my cursor off the screen. I know nobody can see it, but it will still there. Because I don't know, I'm playing this in I'm sorry. I ha I own this game on the Virtual Console, and I have it on the original GBA, so... I very... And now I was, uh... Still pushing Y to, uh... Get my missiles. Also, that guy would be a little bit of a problem if you didn't actually have the missiles, but... Because I cheated and got those first, uh... It's absolutely no problem for me. I don't know why I always get a long beam later. I guess just because I I think it's the route is more convenient. Might as well open this up because uh, these blocks stay gone forever once you get rid of them. Also, you could have gotten rid of them from this side. So you never actually need to get the long beam, but if you're not doing a low percent challenge, then there's absolutely no reason to not get it. Unless you're doing some sort of other challenge that makes you not want to get it. For a second I was like, wait, I didn't even take damage from dropping into the lava there, and I'm like, oh right, various suit. Alright. Over here. No. 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 I'm trying to, like, do... Sorry if my control stick is kind of clacky. I don't know how audible that is, but, uh, you know, it, it certainly is a control stick that may be a little clacky at times. So, uh, now that we have, uh, all the things that we got... Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, I could have done that from the start. Great! Okay. Uh, I believe there's another path, uh, on the other side that you can go into to get, uh, to see one of the Chozo statues, but, uh, the Ice Beam used to be there, but it's not anymore, so I have stopped caring about it. And we'll save. There we go. Okay. Drop down here, I suppose. Wait, I gotta show this off. Uh, I believe. If you feel inclined us to do so, you can't actually do this. Never mind. You can get into here from the other. Or there's a room there. Uh, yeah, between the shaft and that part, you can get into from the other side. But I, I don't care, because I said that I would be doing that later. This. So the bombs are actually required to beat this game. Uh, I guess I could uh, point out the items that are required later. So far, the bombs are the only ones that are required. The various suit isn't required, but you'd be an idiot for not getting it, because uh, the game always counts it as being collected despite you not collecting it, so... I think it's actually showing me with the standard suit there. I didn't realize that until this playthrough. Wow. So, now we're north here, I believe. Oh, screw type block. Save room here. I suppose I might as well. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Uh, first thing you want to do when you're in north air is get out of north air. I'm not even kidding. And there's a Mario pipe down there. Reminds me of that, uh, I think it was a Brawl in the Family comic that pointed out similarities between, uh, Metroid and, uh, Mario. Also, I could very easily get this later, but because I'm stupid, I'm gonna get it now. Like, literally. I will, uh, I'll be getting that before I head out of this frickin', uh, before I'm done in this section. And for some reason, I felt like being stupid and just getting it already. Also, uh, generally I, I'm always either charging the beam or just shooting it at random. It's just kind of uh, a habit that I have in these games. Uh, that door over there you can go into, but there's no real reason to. 
Uh, down here is a missile that I sometimes forget. Uh, I believe I had a 100% playthrough where this was one of the last ones that I uh, needed. Just because I kind of just forgot to get... You get out of my face! Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, there it is. Wait, actually, can I, can I get that even? I don't think I can. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize you could destroy that block. For a second I thought you had to, like... Wait. Okay, that was funny. I saw the word air in the top corner, and I was like, wait, why is why is the word air there? And then I'm like, oh, right, more fair. All right. Thankfully, this block respawns, otherwise I would have been stuck down here. Samus, do what you're told. Let's see. Chosen Ruins. This is an area from Metroid Prime that is now it's only in this game. It makes sense for it to be here at all because the Chozo used to live here. And here's uh, the character from Bubble Bobble. And uh, you get an incompatible item, which can destroy the Bubble Bobble blocks. Alright, so uh, now what you want to do is uh, get out of here. Uh, this part is kind of tricky. I believe it is the first part to require a wall jump to get out of. So, uh, Wall jumps are done in the same way as in other Metroid games, I believe. Just Also, yeah, the bombs can somehow destroy those things. Uh, there's an area over here, but there's nothing to do there right now, so I'm gonna ignore it. And instead, I'm gonna move into this chosen head. Yeah, wall jumps you do by, uh, pressing away from the wall after you've, uh, hit it. Pressing away and then jumping again. Uh, it's kind of... It kind of takes some getting used to, from what I can tell. So yeah, we get the ledge grip, or the grip grab, as I always call it. Or, actually, I think it's a power grip, excuse me. But yeah, I was called the grip grab because, uh... Banjo-Tooie is the only game I've ever played. So it makes sense. Because we all know that. Also, for some reason, this port, this portion is in the is in Norfair in uh, Smash Four in the background. I don't know why it is. It's really random because obviously it isn't even in Norfair, but hey, they chose to do it anyways. Can't believe I destroyed that block that way. For a second, I thought that I couldn't. Uh, also, if you're interested, damn it, I was trying to see if I could uh, jump into the ship from there, but I missed. But yeah, see, ship is a save point in uh, one of one of the Chozo recharge things in one. I hate that little rock pillar that I just jumped over. Uh, it'll come back to haunt me later. So now we have the uh, power grip. We can grab ledges again. It it just is the grab grab from uh, Banjo Tooie. Like you can't grab ledges in Banjo Kazooie, so. In Banjo 2, you have to get a move to learn how to grab ledges, even though it really should be in your, like, basic skill set. But, you know, it, it doesn't. Okay. So, I'll go here. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't actually remember what's in here, but I don't think there is a lot in here to begin with. I believe it just leads to a missile if I don't jump into these, uh... No, I think these, like, walking ones are, like, millions. Or are they violas? Is, is viola the musical thing? Because, uh... I purposely call them the other thing, because uh, I don't want to get them confused. Anyways, uh, this was 
a lot easier if I just shoot out this block. So yeah, with the power grip, you can just do this and get that missile, but I was being stupid, I already got it. Uh, by the way, I haven't I haven't mentioned this yet, but I like these uh, comic book-ish backgrounds that the ones have. They're, they're pretty cool. Alright, save room. Luckily, this is only the save room music. It isn't like an entire item room filled with doot, doot. That would that would drive me a little bit nuts. Alright, also over here. We can find ourselves in yet even more sequence breaking. Uh you are supposed to come back here. With an item you're gonna get very soon, but again, I have to be stupid about everything. Is there anything in here? I don't remember. I guess not. For a second, I thought there might have been something up there, but I think the map would have indicated it. Okay. I believe we want to go in here. Actually, right. No, I believe I want to go into a room above here for you. Place of shut. Uh, I believe the intended order is for you to go back into uh, Prince Star and now get the various suit, but I, uh, again, I cheated and got it earlier, so. so is a missile over here. I believe that's everything. Uh, this is a orange hallway, which means that unless you have the various suit, you can't go in here or otherwise you take damage. Up here is, uh, not a whole lot. So, let's go in here. I believe this room was kind of a pain in the, uh, 15% run. Actually, no, I'm thinking of a, a different one. Anyways, over here we get the Ice Beam. Or blocked off by a green door, which means we have to get the super missiles to actually open that, which we don't have the super missiles, so I guess we're not gonna be doing that. It's restored, and I oh, don't wanna give me a helpful hint as to where I'm supposed to go next. Fine. Anyway, so now we got the ice beam, we can freeze enemies. Uh, ice beam is one of the items that's also required. Uh, safe room across there, I don't really care right now. Mostly because I just want to kind of keep going. Right, get up the... Get up the purple rippers. This room seems like way too... Actually, no. Norfair does have the bubbles in their mind. For a second I wanted to say that it was uh, very Brinstar-ish, but Norfair is the one that has the bubbles, I forgot. Unlike in Smash Brothers, where uh, Brinstar has the bubbles and Norfair has uh, Rising and Dipping Lava, actually both of them have that, except in uh, Brinstar's Acid. So, you tell me to go and get... Oh, for a second I thought you were going to tell me to get the Varius, you know, like, yeah, I will land that one. Okay, now you're telling me to get whatever crates guarding. Which I know what it is, but I'm gonna choose to not say what it is. You know, I just kind of, uh, hey, you with the face. Uh, huh. Oh, I can't believe I actually made that. Okay. And there we go. Another missile tank. I believe this enemy is not here on easy mode. I'm not sure about that one though, because the uh, enemy placements change. Right, let's, uh... Time for some more sequence breaking. Boop. Alright. There is, in fact, a missile up there. Come on, really. No, 
now to Ripper's like, I'm not gonna let you do it. Seriously, there we go. Now, if the Ripper would move over here, or meander over here, rather, I'll take that. Basically, what you want to do now is, uh, you can't, you can go back to that hallway, but who would want to? That shaft. This isn't Final Fantasy 13. In this game, everything is a shaft, except when it is, in fact, the hallway. Okay. So wall jumping up there is a lot easier. So this is a lot easier when you're not stupid like me. And then I fail. Good, wonderful, excellent. Close quarters wall jumping is kind of uh, terrible, I have to admit. Which is why you just kind of want to do this. And then proceed to fail, okay. Yeah, I kind of hate this part. by that thing, because it's an asshole. Okay. Can not give me a missile or anything? Jeez. Okay. That, that, that's, that's fine. Jeez. Get this thing, which can and will, and will sometimes screw you over in, uh, actually, no, it won't. It can screw you over in, uh, low percent runs, but it probably won't. Because you have to be kind of an idiot to go and grab it. I forget where we are. Here at the bottom of Morphair. I do not actually want to be here yet, I just realized. And this leads me to the, uh, not quite a spore spawn, which I don't want to be at yet. So, uh, for the record, I'm not using a map or anything with this game, so, uh, I am just kind of meandering through this. Luckily, I do remember most of it. I believe that door is completely useless. It leads you to a chosen statue that kind of loops around. I believe over here somewhere. Over here. Yeah, over here. That is a uh, speed booster block. Just the item behind Cray, and now I said it, because... I, I, I called it by its name there, no reason to uh, be, like, suspicious about it anymore. Okay, that, for some reason, is not wanting to work. There's a thingy there, which uh, I might interact with later. Totally uh, ignore the fact that I got a missile. And also, for the records, we are uh, almost back at the top. I believe there is a candy inside here. And by candy, I mean the high jump. I don't actually believe you're intended to get the high jump uh, in your first run through Norfair, but this is the way that I like to play this game, so uh, I do. Jump up here, and do a little bit like 
it. Come on. Okay, fine. Oh, right. Uh, if you get the high jump, you get the jump ball. Which, uh, not to be confused with the junk ball, which uh, is what it sounds like Banjo is saying. Hey, a jump ball allows you to jump in morph ball modes, so... He's a little bit useful. Uh, it is not required anywhere in the game. Uh, high jump is very helpful, uh, you don't have, but you don't actually ever need it. Uh, I could do something cool here if I had the speed booster. That would make this room not tedious and require another bomb jump, but hey, it, it's, it's gonna be tedious and require another bomb jump. And I failed. So wonderful. I should stop soon. Uh, can I reach anything of note? I can reach a, a giant side hopper. Which I destroy. And I can reach a save point. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time when uh, we're gonna continue through North Air. So, bye for now. Uh, yeah, as I said, goodbye.